We will discuss uh, also the imports of graphene and double glass modules uh, and new light of sunshine solar. So let's meet our speakers for today. Uh, we, we, will, we will begin uh, with me as uh, Northern Europe uh, Country Manager and Miriam Barak as our, our International Sales Director. Uh, plus our partner in Sweden, uh, uh, one of the biggest wholesaler and installer solar grid system company, presented by Mr. Uh, Michael Johansson as Vice President Sales. And then uh, our partners in Finland as well, um, uh, Scan Office, one of the oldest importers, uh, uh, of, uh, importers on the Finnish market, Mr. Ate Kalju uh, as the Director of Development and New Business. And uh, Ms. Anna Werner from uh, the Solar Association, Swedish Solar Associ Association, director of the Swedish uh, Solar Association. Just a moment. Uh, so our webinar agenda today, we will discuss first, I will discuss the uh, impact of COVID on Zenshine Solar. Then Miriam will, um, uh, uh, we will talk about the graphene coating technology and uh, the new lines of products. Uh, then our partners from, uh, from Solar Grid System, Mr. Michael, will uh, uh, discuss the market condition and the industry key challenge, uh, plus also the impact of COVID as well. The, uh, Mr. Ate from Scan Office will uh, have, uh, give us a headline of the market outlook, uh, considering the effect of COVID on uh, the business of Scan Office as well. And uh, we will finish the, uh, our webinar today by Ms. Anna Werner as the director of the Solar, uh, Swedish Solar Association and she will give us a headline of the market conditions after the, after the COVID during this period. Just a moment. So it all starts by a world lockdown on Wuhan, as we all know, uh, which has a major impact on the, um, uh, on the solar industry in China. We get the permission to reopen again our manufacturer by uh, beginning of February with uh, less capacity of workforce than, um, than expected, uh, less than 70%. Uh, we had a slow recovery, but the impact of the COVID continues until today. So the negative impact on our customers uh, of the COVID, uh, we had some delay shipment, cancelled shipment, uh, because of the delay of raw materials and the, um, uh, the non-respect from our suppliers uh, to, to, to provide us with, this, uh, with the raw materials on time. Uh, we tried our maximum uh, to absorb the extra cost, which uh, had a major impact on the price. Uh, we had stronger, uh, we had an imbalance between the demand and offer. So the price was a little bit higher than expected from different customers all over the world. So we tried to get to absorb the extra cost. We are we close we work closely with our customers to reschedule some deliveries uh, and to be to be one hundred percent transparent with our customers to well, for what to come. The unmatched challenges. Uh, there is the unavailability of our workforce, uh, so there is a restriction of people movement from the city to city with 14 days, a days isolation. Uh, the unavailability of raw materials and um, uh, the, uh, the uh, manufacturers of raw materials open in a later stage, plus the huge constraint on cash flow, uh, so the, which broke our, uh, our credit chain with our different financial services. The adverse impact in Zenshine, we had a shortage of uh, workforce. The first point that we, uh, the, our, uh, our pro production uh, arrangement wasn't as expected. But luckily for us, we have 80% of our workforce with local uh, residents. Uh, so we recover about 80% of our uh, production. Uh, but the affordability of the, um, uh, the suppliers, uh, raw materials, uh, generate an impregnability and non arrangement uh, changement of the arrangement of the production. Uh, this calls us a really an extreme constraint on cash flow. Uh, we needed to have a cash payment for our raw materials with uh, was credit chain broke. In order to meet those challenges, some special task force has been made by our boards with uh, prompt uh, communication, uh, with uh, quick decision and action uh, in good time uh, in order to, uh, to, have, to, to be uh, available to our customers. 
So the first, uh, first thing to do is to approve our cash flow so we can have produce uh, in time and have the delivery on time. We promote our stock with more than 60 megawatts uh, deliveries. We assist our transporter for access. We have heard they had early payment from the customers, which shows the trust from our customers as well. Also, we change our way of work, uh, like uh, the majority of uh, companies worldwide. We are working from home uh, with availability 24-7 from all the team from Zanshan Solar. And we improved our skills as well uh, by product training online. Uh, as all we know that the key of any uh, success for any, any company is the, our staff. So we need to plan and organize an early stage to prevent our customers, uh, our um, prevent our uh, employees and to train them to be uh, aware and cautious of uh, the, uh, um, the impact of COVID and to work in good condition during the, this, the, this circumstances. So we need all to, uh, shall all overcome and to stop the spread and we we'll do our best to uh, start, uh, with, uh, starting with the basics. And now we will pass on to, uh, to, uh, to present, to have a brief presentation of uh, our group. So we are, as we all know, we are tier one manufacturer with 32 years um, uh, experience in the solar industry compared to other tier one uh, companies. We, uh, we are working in three basis unit as uh, we are active as an EPC in Asia with more than one gigawatt uh, project commission. We, are, uh, we have more than five gigawatt capacity with full automatic machines and with a lot of solar projects all over the world. We are using fully automatic machines and great quality control um, and mass production more than 99%. We are EPC qualification in Japan, number one, and also we are number one suppliers in India as well. Uh, those some references in Europe, we, uh, besides Ukraine, we had more than uh, uh, 20 megawatts in Ukraine, more than 100 megawatts in Denmark. We are present in uh, Poland, France, uh, Italy, uh, Spain. So uh, we maintain to be uh, present all over Europe, but besides Asia as well. Also, uh, Zenshine uh, is um, present also in the Middle East. Uh, we signed more than 100 megawatts with uh, one of the biggest uh, companies in the, in the in Middle East, GWA. Uh, we are, uh, we are uh, unique producers and um, uh, the uh, owner of the, uh, technolo the unique technology, the graphene coating, uh, is set cleaning options and the double glass modules. We are very competitive in our producing double glass modules. Uh, Miriam later on, she will present it with more details uh, to, to understand more the, um, the different technologies. Uh, we, uh, we are top performer for 2018 by DNVGL uh, for our poly modules. Uh, we can provide to our customer the China LE and Munich LE as a warranty, and our module is, bank is bankable by international banks. Uh, we have the world-class certification, the only certification uh, to, uh, that you needed to do to, to have to, for solar modules, as you can see. And finally, we, need to, uh, we want to introduce our um, uh, latest uh, product that we need, to, uh, well, that we, we will introduce to our uh, Northern Europe uh, customers uh, is multi bus bar modules, uh, 9 dB half cut cells um, uh, with power from 345 and 365, uh, PID free, and we can use the graphene technology and double glass as well for any type of module, so we can use it for this module as well. Uh, if I will send the technical data sheet to our attendees, uh, to our um, speakers, and uh, we will discuss it uh, more uh, after the webinar. And finally, uh, Zenshine means fairness and trust. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Uh, so, I think now we will um, uh, proceed to Miriam. Uh, she will present to us the importance of the graphene technology and the double glass for Zenshine Solar uh, and the difference, uh, the, uh, the advantages of uh, our product. Thank you. Miriam. Yes, thank you, Rima. Thank you uh, for your presentation. So, and thank you for our attendees and our panelists as well for taking time out and uh, being here today. So, Thank 
So as you see here, as Dima explained to you, uh, <clears throat> Uh, we have two special features or two special technologies like the graphic coating and the double glass. And we do produce as well the bispatial, mono, monopore of course, poly, half cast, MDD, and the new uh, wafer technology 166 and 200 pen. Maybe by actually you do produce the 166, we can reach you 465, 470 watts. But uh, starting from Q3 or Q4, we may uh, produce the uh, like 500 using the 200 pen wafer technology. So regarding the large white uh, double glass, it's uh, we can we can see that one uh, we have more than four or five advantages. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. Are you hearing me? Okay. So, uh, so uh, let's. let's Um, so uh, we have more than four advantages regarding the double glass. Uh, as you see here, the higher reliability, we, we passed it around more than three times the IEC test. We give more than 30 years uh, performance warranty and maybe after I will, I will show you the graphic, we can, we can give more than 30 years uh, performance warranty. So no micro cracks and high grade fire test. And you can see that uh, with the light double glass, it's easy transportation, frame design, and installation as well. So here's the, me the mechanism of high, uh, the mechanism of high reliability of regarding the double glass. You can see here that the back uh, back glass does not age under UV exposure, and the back uh, back the back glass is impervious to water and climatic elements. So we can see here that the back glass is still caused by dust, sand, and wind. Uh, we can also share with you uh, the, P, the test report is that regarding the PID test. So uh, here, our Sunshine uh, Lightweight Table Glass model have passed the three times PID testing. So uh, with using different values regarding the temperature, power attenuation. Sorry. and test time. So uh, we can guarantee uh, the capacity regarding our uh, power station. So this, uh, this result, this test result is from internal TNAAS laboratory. We can share with you uh, the exact data. Let's see. Here, another test report. Uh, it's regarding the reliability test dynamic mechanical load. So you can see here some resistance to, to many impacts, like snow load. It's very important to see the impact of snow load mainly in Scandinavian country like Finland, Sweden, Norway, and other countries. So uh, the snow load is uh, more than uh, 4,400 Pascal. Uh, same for the wind load. So uh, we recommend to use a light double glass in, uh, in, in areas that uh, uh, with snow and wind as well. Here, it's, uh, as, as I told you, that regarding the reliability test, is um, three times we have we have tested it passed three times the IEC uh, standard test, and uh, we have a lot of characteristics like uh, the potential uh, degradation, the humidity, uh, the thermal cycling, the damp heat, and a lot of other tests. Here uh, we can see that uh, the, the different uh, three times, but you can see in the graphic. Uh, the UV15, UV30, UV45, TC200, and the extended testing intensity, equal to three times uh, IEC standard, not like the standard one, not the like uh, the normal. Even you can see uh, two different colors here, uh, yellow colors and orange color. It's a normal panel versus lightweight double glass panel. 
And here, I see that here is the most important thing regarding the, the warranty and the performance. So, uh, as you see, as you see, also for the normal panel, we can offer, we can, or other competitors may offer around uh, 30 years, let's see, 25 years as a performance warranty. But for us, we can give until 30 years and even under 35 years, since between the last, this last period, between 30 and 35 years, the FD panel may generate around 38.6%. So more, more power than the standard panel. So it's really very important. Here, it's the, um, you can see uh, two different comparing, uh, it's the super quality anti-micro uh, crack. So here, uh, the normal one versus the, star, the double glass one. So the micro crack, uh, with the double glass, uh, we see less impact regarding the micro crack. Here, the super quality, same thing, so it's more explanation. Here, we can see that, uh, for example, the single glass model, maximum deformation is 31 millimeter. Here, like double glass, it's only 16 millimeter. So we can notice the, um, uh, the difference between the two models here. Uh, you can see here also some other tests that we did it in our uh, workshop or in our facility in China. So we can see here it's before treating, during treating, and here EL after treating. So you, could, you can see here that there is nothing, there is no micro crack, no anti crack. So uh, even that we did, uh, we did this test uh, in, our, in our workshop in China. Uh, here, uh, the super quality got the highest fire class. Uh, we did uh, the test in uh, the Instituto Giordano, it's in Italy. So, uh, we usually compare uh, the normal panel with, uh, with, the, with the double glass one. So, the fire risk of single glass model, flame spread test, and varying block tests. Here is uh, the comparison between, and even we can share with you, Rima can share with you also the, the, the our uh, five class, uh, we, are five, uh, we are five class eight test, and uh, it's mainly using our light double glass panels. Uh, here, um, maybe some, some installers or some customers may ask regarding the, uh, the installation, uh, because maybe they think that it's frameless, no, for, for us. Our, our, our light double glass is not frameless. We do it with frame, and even we are flexible regarding the thickness of frame. We may offer 25 millimeter, and we may offer also the 30 millimeter. Uh, in this case, uh, we can, it's easy to transport, it's easy to install, and uh, it can reduce secondary damage, uh, such as junction box, uh, detachment, and micro cracks for our cells as well. Here, um, we can see that um, easily installed integrated combined with bifacial. So here, there are two important, um, let's see, um, features or it's the FR, energy yield of front side, and PR, energy yield of the back side. Here uh, we can see uh, the FP plus the RP equal to 105 to 130 percent. Uh, and we, after may, we may compare the bifacial double glass with uh, the bifacial with the back sheet, uh, transparent back sheet. So here, for example, why uh, we recommend to use the double glass bifacial than the transparent back sheet because it's absolutely anti UV. It's absolutely anti safe crack. It's low, lower yearly power degradation. More strong cannot be scratched. And also, it's easy cleaning hydrophilia. So, we can uh, see here uh, the back using back sheet using glass, uh, the water, uh, uh, F and uh, GH values. Um, so, you, you may note also that uh, our FG can be uh, can combine with bifacial technology perfectly. Uh, it's like a track record. It's a real uh, example here. So it's uh, it will be it's uh, one of our installation made uh, uh, made uh, using our LG um, light double glass panels. Um, it's in Eastern Europe. Uh, um, so uh, power generation from double glass models is around two percent higher than the single double glass. And even again, the cost there is not a big difference. So. Uh, even if we calculate the difference and we compare the difference with the, uh, the, um, the efficiency, um, it will be really handy. You, um, if you combine the light double glass with the graphene, it may give us, uh, and we can guarantee that, it may give us more than two or three percent of, uh, of uh, higher efficiency. 
Uh, here, some uh, performance comparisons, so uh, with the single glass and double glass, uh, like the annual degradation, you can see here in the single glass is, zero, uh, is 0 0.7, like with the double glass, 0 0.5. PIG, good with the single glass, excellent with the double glass. Warranty, 25 years with the single glass, 30 years or more. As I told you, we may win, uh, we may keep like uh, 39.6 as a performance between the 30 years and the 35 years. Um, and other, other features, other values like the micro crack risk, high, peer low risk. It's, it's really for me, it's the most important uh, advantage is the micro crack. No, no risk for me in the micro crack use of the glass. Water uh, permeability, zero, because it's uh, water resistant, uh, waterproof resistant, like, let's see. Uh, wind and snow load capacity, good for the single glass, but it's excellent for the, for the double glass. Mm. You can see here, uh, regarding the energy yield, um, it's 25, 21% as increase. Electric, electrical isolation low, very high you, uh, for double glass. Uh, as you know, for the double glass, uh, we may use three junction box and uh, and you can, it can reduce the alarm. So BOS cost, BOS cost, uh, it's really high when we use the single glass, but using the double glass is low. Uh, heat diffusion, same thing. Let's move to the, let's move to, let's move to the graphene coating technology. So uh, uh, as Rima explained to you, uh, we are the only, let's say we have only the copyright and the patent to produce this uh, technology. And uh, uh, we may offer uh, this technology for our single glass and our double glass as well. But usually we recommend to use it with double glass because uh, with double glass it may we may we can guarantee more than two percent or three percent as a uh, as a power uh, than the standard one, as you see here. And it's longer product life. It's a safe cleaning, like it's a nanotechnology inside the glass. Uh, better low light performance. Here you can see the graphene coating glass. Its, uh, it's uh, material is known as the king. Uh, Light is most flexible, stronger, and most conductive nano material. The use of graphene, the use of graphene uh, coating uh, to enhance penetration, cell cleaning, and photo catalyst to increase solar motor power and then increase the power generation capacity. Here, uh, you can see that advantages better transmis uh, transmission. Uh, graphene coating glass has excellent high transmission properties. AM 1.5 transmission equal to 94%, and visible light transmission is 94.2%. Uh, Here, uh, advantages have to accumulate dust. Uh, structure, maybe in, uh, we can send to you, we can share with you our uh, video because uh, it's, li it's like you, 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 uh, when you see the video, you may have more uh, ideas. It's a, real, uh, it's a real case, a real example. And also maybe when we, uh, we can share with our partners uh, a kit, a safe cleaning kit to, ex to explain more uh, how, it, uh, it can, uh, how it can, how to explain the safe cleaning uh, technology. So also we can find the video in YouTube, yes, sure. Uh, so the structure of different coating, it's uh, the semi-closed structure of graphene coating layer. Here it's stacked uh, open hole structure of conventional layer. layer. Here I'm using the graphene coating glass and here is the, double uh, the normal glass. So you can see the difference here. It's a dust testing comparison. Here it's a rain, it's not easy to flow uh, with the normal glass. With the double glass, rain will flow quickly. So uh, as you see here, the graphene coating has obvious uh, hydro hydrophilic properties. Uh, here, the normal before raining, uh, you can see the dust uh, testing trend on motor surface. It's normal solar panel before training and uh, before raining, sorry, and after raining. So here you can see uh, you can see the difference. Uh, we can also, uh, it's uh, for using the, uh, the graphene coating, it may uh, give us excellent performance, photo catalytic, uh, photo, uh, photo, photo catalytic degradation reaction. So uh, here uh, we can find both a normal uh, ARC glass and graphene coating glass. So organic solution, less color difference. Here, more color, uh, color difference. So uh, you can see uh, the, the difference. Uh, availability, reliability test items. After maybe we are, you are welcome to visit. Uh, we can show you when you come to China, maybe in October, regarding the snake exhibition. 
you are welcome to visit, uh, we can show you uh, uh, the method or all steps uh, and also the quality process regarding the graphic coding in our glass factory. So here you can see the light transmission, pencil, algorithmic angle, organic decomposition. So here, um, humidity, temperature cycle, UV radiation, uh, sun resistance, acid resistance, and uh, resistance to neutral uh, salt spray. Here, usually uh, it's some test reports, uh, PV models using the coated uh, glass, and also uh, it was uh, confirmed by Tube, uh, tube North, and uh, we can share with you this test report as well. Here, uh, we, the model uh, comparison of work, uh, working tem temperature is a model with normal coating, amount of dust is around, um, let's say, 13.82 gram per square meter. Here, model with graphene coating is amount is around 6.28 uh, gram per square meter. So you can see the difference. Uh, so um, here, evaluation power generation tested our internal test field. Each square matrix consists of 13 pieces of models, power generation efficiency of solar models with dust. Here is two graphic uh, for the normal glass and double glass. You can see that the persons using the, the, uh, the double glass, uh, the graphene coating is less, sure. Finally, um, as you see that uh, our panel, poly panel, uh, was awarded by PV Magazine as one of the best uh, performers worldwide uh, using uh, the double glass and the uh, graphic coating. It was by uh, the third party uh, insurance and uh, certification, uh, let's say, uh, third party PV Magazine test, yes. Finally, thank you very much. If you have any question, you can ask and I will put my email address and uh, we will be really glad to answer to all your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, we know more now about the graphene and uh, our double glass modules. Uh, now uh, we'll now uh, Mr. Michael Schuhanser from Solar Persistent Company. Uh, to present uh, his presentation uh, about uh, the impact of COVID and the, uh, uh, the, how the, uh, his business was affected by COVID. So, Mr. Michael, uh, it's uh, your turn to speak. Are you yep. hearing me? Yes, I hear you. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I hear you. Ned. Yes. That's very good. Okay. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's your turn to, to, to speak. Thank you. So the, um, the impact of COVID on the business, I think, is worldwide, definitely. And it has affected uh, all the uh, distributors of the PV material. And of course, it affected us here in Sweden as well. Um, a lot of people see a lot of industries uh, go poorly. Uh, there's a lot of uh, businesses going down. The PV business, uh, people are not really sure where it's going, but in the Nordic countries, um, we can see that it's not business as usual, but we are actually doing very well. The larger projects that were not planned before, they are not going ahead. Larger companies tighten their budget a little bit and don't open their purse during difficult and uncertain times. But medium-sized industries, farmers especially, because food locally produced food is always, or it's going to be in, uh, in increasing demand. And also homeowners are buying just as much PV, if not more than before. And this is, as I mentioned, in the farmer's uh, uh, point of view, is that local food will be more in demand. So quite a few farmers sections are going very well and can see an increase in demand. Hence, uh, they have more money to invest uh, into PV and other things. And PV is one of the best investments you can make into any business, as we all know. And the... Uh, residential sector, people do not move around so much. They do not go on vacation so much. So the installers that are focusing on 
particularly the small industry, farmers, and the residential sector are doing very well, if not better than before. Uh, because the people spend more time at home. Uh, they do not go on vacation. They have money to spare and they want to improve on their house. And also it's very important to become more independent. People see now in time of crisis that they are dependent on so many other factors in society. And if they can cut some of those off, become more self-independent, then that's very good. And also if they do their math, if the persons or the people selling uh, PV are able to communicate that this is one of the best investments that you can actually make, you have a guaranteed return of investment for 30, 35 years. That's unbeatable. Nobody can beat that in an uncertain times again. It's very easy to sell this. Uh, of course, uh, we have other problems uh, during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Even though in Sweden hasn't been a total lockdown, we should restrict our travel. That means that I as a sales manager cannot visit my customers or go to large project that was uh, being planned and help them out with uh, how to uh, make the project move forward and planning. But actually, from the point of view that we're now having more webinars like this, more online meetings, means that I spend a lot less time in my car, more time in front of my screen, uh, but I can actually meet more customers this way than I can sitting in my car for two hours and then have a half hour meeting and then drive for an hour to the next meeting I only have five minute break in between meetings when I'm online. So if we get used to this way of meeting, we can actually do more and better business. So one should uh, not embrace uh, this situation, but we should learn from it and use it more to be more effective. Sure, the person to person meeting can never be replaced. You need to do it and you need to go out there and meet the person to get the trust uh, from that person. Uh, you can never get that from an online meeting, uh, but you can have fewer physical meetings and more online meetings. So I see that we can actually benefit from this in the future. Uh, for us at Solid Resistant, uh, we have had a policy that if you are not well, you should not come into the office you work from home, as most companies have been doing. Uh, we've been having a little bit of a trouble because we have moved offices and our warehouse during this time, and that was planned, so that was nothing that we could change. Uh, but it has been going better than we thought. Uh, and of course, with proper management, thinking about keeping distances, don't involve everybody. Everybody does not have to uh, take part in everything. Um, then you can still manage a large move. You just need to plan it a little bit more. But that was, of course, a challenge for us. Uh, we're not there just yet, but um, soon and we will all be installed in our new office and our uh, new warehouse uh, and where we'll, we will also have a new training facility there that we will uh, put up during the rest of the spring and in the summer. So in the fall, we plan to be able to have a lot of training for our customers, the installers buying our products at uh, close proximity to our warehouse and office. Uh, of course, um, there were problems with visits and not getting all the material that was delayed from the globe coming into Sweden. That meant a cash flow problem. Uh, that was not unique to us or to anybody. Uh, most customers understand it. Uh, 
installations had to be postponed and moved forward. And that, of course, took a lot of energy out of us and uh, took time away from be from sales uh, for us, unfortunate, uh, but we have to look at keeping the customers informed and uh, happy. And then when we have all the ducks in line, we know when things were coming from China or from other countries coming into Sweden, then we can then again start focusing more on sales and getting uh, the business running as usual or as usual as it can be during this situation. Uh, when it comes to Sol El Grossisten and Sunshine Solar, we started off actually as an installation company. So we were up on the roofs, we were working with the electrical side, so we know uh, what installers need and what they want, and they want good products that will not break down and that will last over time so that they can sleep well. Um, when we started, first started hearing about Sunshine, it took us about a year and a half before we actually started buying their products. We bought some, we tested them, we read about them, we met them, at InterSolar in, in, uh, in China. We met them again at InterSolar uh, just to be sure that they were a reputable and good company that could stand up to the quality that we as a previous installer ourselves, before we moved on to become just a wholesaler, uh, could stand up to what they were saying. And for us, um, it was an obvious choice to on all the panels that we buy from Sunshine Solar. All of them have the graphene coating and they are LD light double panels. And we chose the 2.0 millimeter on back and front so that we can, we know that all the features that you offer that we bring that in. We don't see why we should offer any other panels from Sunshine. We want to sell good quality stuff that I can stand for and that our installer can stand for in front of their customer as well. Do you have any questions regarding any particular part of our business or any particular uh, problems that might have arised uh, in other parts during COVID-19? era that I could answer. Uh, thank you, Mr. Michael, for your presentation. If anyone has any question, uh, please uh, share, it, uh, uh, share it now. There is, um, we can, you can chat online, Mr. Michael, with them. Or yep. I have the chat open. Yes, uh, we can provide with your email for more uh, information as well. Yep. Uh, very interesting uh, presentation, and we are all hoping that the, this lockdown will be over soon and we will get back to business like before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so now we need to uh, uh, pass to Mr. Uh, Ate from Scan Office Company. Um, uh, so, Mr. Ate, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, welcome. Uh, so, Mr. Ate is our partner from Finland. Uh, he will present the Scan Office and uh, he will speak about the impact of COVID on his business. You have the word, Mr. Ate. Thank you. Yes, thank you and uh, greetings from Finland. It's nice to have this opportunity to speak speak about solar energy because uh, yesterday morning it was actually below zero. It was freezing temperature. So, <laughs> so I don't know when, when the summer is coming, but uh, at least we have cold temperature right now. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I think I could uh, show, show you a short video first and then a little bit more about our company and then, then about the situation of this COVID and uh, I don't know but uh, I propose that uh, if someone has anything to ask you may, may could, maybe could uh, write them on the chat and then we could discuss about uh, topics uh, that are the most important. 
But okay, let's start from the video. I don't know, and I hope that you can see this. Yes, we can see, yes, uh, you can start, but there is no voice. So the voice is not working. Yes, yes the voice okay. is not working. Okay, okay. This is the, actually very, Maybe I, I try it again. Okay. And if it's not working, then then we can go without the video. So how about now? Can you hear it? No. No. Okay. Then we just don't use that one. I think. As usual. Yesterday, yesterday we tried it and uh, it it worked <laughs> very well. Okay, but uh, I don't know what is the problem right now, but okay, so maybe you can see the PowerPoint. Can you see this one? Mm. Can you see it? No. No. You can share the screen? Yes. Yes. You cannot see it. No, not oh. yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then once again. Once again, okay. Yeah. Uh, How about now? Yes, yes, we can see your uh, computer. Perfect. Yes, now. And now you can see it. Yes, you can. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, this is very typical <laughs> on these days, but okay. So, Scan Office Group. We are three companies all together. So Scan Office is the mother company, and then we have Scan Warm also. And these two companies are working in Finland. And then we have uh, Scan Mont also, which is located in Sweden. And then we have a little bit sales also on, on Norway and Denmark. But the main market area is definitely Finland and also Sweden. And uh, here you can see our logistics center. I'm sitting here right now. This is in Finland, in Espo. We have quite good space here to work. And we are, we are importer and the wholesaler of heat pumps, PV system and air treatment products. And uh, we say that we are largest in Nordic region. And we are, we are quite old, we are 30, 36 years old now. And uh, mainly Finland and Sweden is, is, is our market area. We have 55 million turnover and 60, 60 people. And the credit rating has been 20, 20 years AAA, the highest, highest you, can, you can have. And uh, we are a family company. We are, we are, we are a very Finnish and family-owned family company. And we are, we are proud of, of, of that. And, uh, the floor area of our uh, uh, logistics center is uh, 4,200 square meters, so, so it's, it's quite okay. And the main products are on the heat pumps, they are Mitsubishi Electric. We have all, all heat pumps uh, people need. We are specialized in uh, residential and uh, commercial size. Quite, you can say that the mainly, mainly residential. Commercial also. And we have other products on Scan Office. We have a uh, mobile, which is a ventilation system. There is technically mom and Argo uh, and uh, many kind of fire treatment products. But on PV, PV, we have also everything that our clients need. We have, we have panels, inverters, mounting system, cable, safety switches, and everything. And on panels, we use Sunshine Solar, and we have been using Sunshine now, I think one year, a little bit more maybe, one, one year approximately. And we have been very, very happy, happy with these products. We have uh, two, two modules we are using. One is this uh, 200, uh, 305 watt peaks mono, half cut, double class, graphene coating. And uh, it, it has been very popular. It's, it's good looking and uh, the lifetime is long and uh, the graphene coating is, is something special. Other, other don't have, I think, that, that good coating. So 
it's very nice, nice to sell. Then we have also this uh, 280 watt peak poly double glass. It's also nice to nice to sell because with this we can compete with the regular uh, panels. And this has something else because it's it's double glass and so on. So so we we like this pretty much also. Okay, then we have scan warm. There we have uh, Cree, which is uh, world's largest uh, room air conditioner factory. Then we have LG also, Alpha Innotech from Germany, Hoyax and uh, other other products also. And on Scanmont, Scanmont, this is uh, Swedish Swedish company of our group. There we have Agri, uh, LG and Toshiba. So they are big big brands and uh, nice products to sell. And the key factors why we have why we have grown the biggest in Nordic countries, I think. One is the product availability. We have, for example, heat pumps, about 5,500 5, heat pumps on our storage. Well, right now we have, I think, 10,000 heat pumps. And the pro product range, it's the largest, largest on, on, on this field. And the one, one very important is also our very reliable distribution networks. We have uh, 1,000 active dealers. So they are they are very important for us, and also our marketing. We are quite active, and I think uh, very very near future people will know the Sunshine Solar also, like they know LG and uh, Toshiba and the Mitsubishi. So I I think they will know at least in Finland very soon the Sunshine Solar also. And we have of course professional people, and we are we are educating our our. Or dealers and so on. And we have also our own testing laboratory where we test test the products. Panels also we test them. And uh, on, the, on, on the future of course we will improve our customer and employee satisfaction and uh, prices must be more competitive by improving our productivity and of course the, of course the product range we will develop that and uh, the business model also. Okay, so this was the presentation of our company and then, then the main topic maybe. So in Finland, like in many countries, many other countries, we have quite a heavy lockdown going right now. We have had schools and restaurants, libraries, exhibitions, borders, and uh, you can say almost everything has been closed until now. So last week the schools did open and now 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 I think the restaurants will also open. So so there is uh, some kind of uh, recovery going on but still over 70 years old people they are asked asked to stay home. So the risk groups, they, they, they really, we hope that they, they will be, be safe. And because of this lockdown, of course, many companies has been in trouble, especially the restaurants and uh, travel companies and so on. And uh, the picture you can see, there is the indicator of cons consumer confidence for economy. So, you can see that in April it was 13.9% below zero. So it's the uh, lowest number we have ever had. I think this have, has been 25 years, this indicator. So, so this is the lowest number we have ever had. So the uh, con consumer confidence, I, I think <laughs> it's, it's not, not, not very well right now. But I think when we are, when we have opened the schools and the restaurants will be open, I think then the confidence will will be better also. But uh, this has been a little bit surprise for us because because the confidence of customers it's it's very low, the lowest than ever. 
So we, we have thought that, okay, we cannot sell anything. But because we have this uh, 1,000 uh, very lo loyal retail clients and they are very local. So in every village in, in Finland and uh, almost in, in Sweden also. So in Finland, in every village, we have a retail client and distributor and uh, they are mainly installation companies. So they, they have had quite good sales. So we don't see that kind of a challenge in, in sales right now, but in, in purchase side, we have had, we have had little little bit uh, challenges. There has been one heat pump factory that uh, has been closed closed some time, so it, it makes us little bit challenges. But on, on PV side, everything works quite well, and that has been very surprising for us. But we, we don't see that kind of a depression on, on the on the PV sales. Like Mr. Mikael said also that uh, this has been a little bit surprising, but it's very, very cool. Okay, if, if this recession will, will last longer, I think then, then we have and will have challenges on sales, sales too, but uh, as, as far everything seems to be okay. And if, if there has been some kind of a signs of recovery, like the schools are opening and the restaurants are opening and everything is slowly going back to normal, then I think we will not see any any bad sales. But all I can say right now is that uh, we hope the best and uh, I hope for you also, all of you, the best and uh, safe, safe summer. So I think this was all, all for now. So is there any questions I could answer? Thank you, Mr. Ate, for uh, the presentation and different information about the company and the impact of COVID. Uh, if someone has any question, please uh, feel free to uh, ask Mr. Ate by the question and answers on the webinar. Um, now we, uh, we will pass to Ms. Anna Warner, uh, from, uh, Director of the Solar Association to discuss more uh, the impact of the um, COVID on the Swedish solar, uh, so Swedish solar market. Uh, Ms. Anna, are you there? Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you today? Hi. I'm glad to hear everybody is safe. It's, uh, we have a good weather in Sweden. I'm working from home. I've been home for seven weeks or eight weeks already. <laughs> like everyone. <laughs> It's been, uh, very interesting presentations. I'll show the home page where we, you can see the situation of Corona in Sweden on the internet. It's c19.se. And you can see that the cases, we only have uh, 31,000 cases, but that's because they haven't really tested a lot of people. And, uh, but you can see that the, um, uh, we are we are right now in a in a much better um, better development than before. The the number of dead persons every day is going going down. And you can see the people in hospital is going down too. So we are positive right now. I will tell you a little bit about my my business. This is my presentation. Okay. So I am the CEO of the Swedish Solar Energy Association. Uh, we've been around for 30 years. Uh, so we celebrated 30 years a couple of months ago. Uh, we are the Solar Energy Association. So we do not only promote the solar electricity, PVs, we also promote uh, uh, solar heat, solar collectors. We have 260 member companies, and many of them are installers, but some are uh, um, have a, uh, retails and, and importers. And uh, but we also have companies where solar is a very small part of their business, like major consultancy firms that have a few solar specialists, or huge energy companies that have maybe a small solar section. 
um, yep. And most people in Sweden don't can't really tell the difference between a, a solar collector and a solar cell uh, anyway. So it, for us, it's easy to just keep the two businesses together. And right now, solar electricity is very popular. So then we the solar cell companies help the so, uh, solar heat companies. And it was vice versa a while, uh, 10 years ago. It was the, uh, the contrary. So we have about 0.5% uh, PV uh, solar production in Sweden. And I would say no solar heat at all, but about 0.5% of the electricity production come from PVs. And also about 0.5% of the usage which is then very low compared to rest of the world. And I, I guess uh, uh, we have even higher in Europe, it's 4%. But it's increasing in Sweden. We are in the midst of our solar boom. Uh, and as in the rest of the world, the mono has taken over market shares from the polycrystalline uh, cells. I just want to show you a little bit about the Sweden electricity mix, just so you see that it's a very different uh, country where we have a lot of nuclear power, the red part of the diagram, and a lot of hydropower. So we have 40% of each. And then the wind power is above 10% already. And then we have uh, uh, waste uh, and bioenergy, 5%, a few percentage uh, each. So uh, we don't have that large uh, fossil fuel, much fossil fuel in Sweden. Still, there is a great interest in, in PV production. The, the Swedish people is very much into PV and we have a very positive feeling about uh, PVs in Sweden. Right now, we have extremely low electricity prices in Sweden. It's uh, due to the weather. And as we now have more wind power, uh, we are more, uh, uh, you know, uh, depending on the weather as to what the electricity prices become. Um, if we look at the month of March, the usage of electricity has gone down about 5%. If you look at the weather adjusted uh, figures from la compared to last year, so about 5% uh, decrease in electricity demand. And it is the sector that we call buildings and services that is about 40% of the total electricity usage. That is where you see this uh, decrease of electricity uh, usage. The other two sectors are industry and transports. And there you, transport sector is rather small. And industry sector, we cannot see that uh, uh, decrease in usage maybe in April, but not for the March figures. And this is of course because of restaurants that closed, airports closed, etc. cetera. It's, uh, uh, it's not a wonder that the electricity demand has gone down. The energy sector has been identified by the government as a critical sector, of course, be uh, during these times of Corona, because the energy supply is uh, uh, of course important during all times, but especially during times of crisis. Uh, and therefore the energy sector and also the PV sector is studied carefully on a week to week basis by the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency called MSB in Swedish. So I have a, a close contact to them. I try to explain to them that, you know, the, the Swedish energy supply is not yet very dependent on, on PV production, but I'm happy you, you call me anyway. They, they are really interested in how the, the business is evolving. As you see, Sweden is a very long country. And the, as you know, there, there are good conditions in most of the country, but they are very variable. So uh, in some parts, it's, it's much better conditions than in other parts. In Sweden also, solar is a even more seasonal business than in many other, other countries. So it's very difficult to tell seasonal uh, variations apart from the corona variations and also in this fact that we are, you know, in the middle of a, of a solar cell boom. So these three uh, variations are, are very difficult to, to study at the same time since we don't have a, we don't have a, a ceteris paribus uh, uh, example of the economy. 
uh, on we have no shortage of energy we have no shortage of electricity and our sector as we heard from the previous speakers has adapted to minimize uh, the risk of contamination and also we are very much pushing in media this uh, um, explanation of uh, PV that it is you know a, a business that is actually corona adapted because you work in small teams up on the roof so the risk of getting you know uh, contaminating each other is very very small it's also a very young business with the uh, entrepreneur young entrepreneurs so for us it's not very you know a complicated to do more of work from home or even do more of the sales from her home. We heard Mikael talk about it. We heard all the previous speakers talk about it. And maybe it's even good that the, the buyer gets more involved in the process. And he has, you know, the buyer of a solar cell has to go out and measure his, uh, the, the size of his roof and, and the di direction, etc. himself. I think it's good with the, the, with the buyers that are very involved in the, in the buying procedure. Uh, we have heard also, as the previous speakers have talked about today, but uh, there might be a shortage of uh, very specialized or trained people from abroad, because if we need that, it will be difficult to get them into Sweden. But I think other uh, uh, kinds of power production has much more problems. Like, for instance, when you do the revision in the in the nuclear plants you really need specialized people coming from abroad we don't have that kind of of problem uh, also electronical components can be a problem uh, we've had let's say we've had three stages first we were worried that uh, we wouldn't get the electronical com components in time that was when we had the lockdown in china and then we had uh, problems that uh, at the that maybe China wouldn't delay the electronical components when China started reopening, but then we have new problems on the way to Europe with the six week transportation, for instance, of PVs and, and, and uh, of whatever they're called, this electronical components. So, uh, uh, but now we see that more or less this is working well. We do get the material, not everybody all the time, but uh, uh, most uh, um, most companies have the have some equipment in stock that you can use, and you have to wait maybe a little bit, but not for for ages. And now the third stage is: Are we going to see if the demand is going down drastically in Sweden? We have seen a a, a drop in demand, but not immense. So it, it's especially the very large projects that have been postponed. And uh, on, the, on the small house market, we don't see that uh, a, a plunge in demand uh, yet, uh, as we say, uh, knock on wood. Uh, I would say the wind energy is in the same boat and maybe uh, because they are also building new installations. So they are, in, in that case, you could be like very dependent on getting good, uh, good uh, specialized trained people from abroad but i think they have a worse situation than us they have much larger more vulnerable projects etc um, so the energy authority of sweden they still prognose an increase of 40 percent in the yearly installations for each year from this year and up till 2023 uh, but for wind, they are, are not expecting such a large, uh, high uh, installation uh, increase in the installation rate. So I would say it still looks very good for solar in Sweden. Uh, yes, we have high grid prices in Sweden in some parts. And I talked about the Swedish positive attitude already towards solar cells. You can see here that 80% of the Swedes want more solar cells and they th think that we should invest in it and we even got a new uh, uh, proposal from the government for a new subsidy scheme after new year for uh, um, for small uh, small uh, pv plants like uh, rooftop installations and yeah i just want to show you that i mean basically everything is grid connected we have a very, very few off-grid connections 
and the big uh, majority of installations, we have 44,000 installations now, but I would say about 40,000 are really small rooftop uh, installations. You can see here also uh, uh, the, the orange, the light orange parts, you can see that these larger rooftops uh, installations are, are very uh, badly developed. They're very small market segments in Sweden due to this fact that we have this uh, rule that over above, if you have a large installation above 255 kilowatts peak, then you have to pay tax, energy tax, on the energy that you both produce and use yourself. So we're going to have a major campaign about, uh, about that this summer. This is what it looks like in Sweden. Um, solar power helps the power balance. We have a, a research showing that on our homepage that if we have, we have tested, if we have like, uh, instead of 0.5% electricity, we have 5% electricity from solar power in Sweden that would be better for the, we would have to import less electricity since the sun tends to shine the days that we are importing electricity. This is, was it, this is Stockholm. Um, yeah, I just want to show a few pictures here. You can see the weighted average cost of capital is kind of mid Europe in, in uh, Sweden and the LCOE of rooftop solar systems is quite high, but yeah. So questions on that? Thank you, Ms. Anna, for the uh, lovely uh, presentation. Uh, please do not hesitate to contact Ms. Anna for any question uh, about the presentation in question and answer. Uh, and uh, I think we came to the end of our webinar today. Uh, it was very lovely to have you all uh, during this webinar. Thank you for attending, Ms. Anna. Thank you, Mr. Michael, for being part of uh, this webinar. Uh, Mr. Ate as well. Uh, we hope that we will have the face-to-face -face meeting soon once this lockdown is over and the boards are open again. Uh, very lovely to, to meet you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.